Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, my name is Marco and today we are continuing Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Golden Wind episodes 31, 32 and 33. There is 39 episodes, so including this one, 3 videos of part 5 left. And it truly feels like we are approaching the end game. Last set of episodes was so heavy. Rest in peace, Leone Abacchio. He was such a great character. He was a broken soul. He was a very righteous person. But he took that one bribe which led to uh, his partner's death. And after that, he became depressed and he felt like shit. Uh, thankfully, Bucciarati came into his life. And it seems like Abacchio was turning himself to alcohol. But... Bucciarati picked him up and the rest is history man, he was such a cool character, very stoic, very brave, uh, very smart as well, I'm going to miss him a lot and his ability Moody Blues was so clutch. Not only that, but we found out that Bruno is actually dead, but he is still alive at the same time somehow it's like when giorno healed him that gave him the energy to move on a little bit more but he's actually dead really heavy stuff and that explains why was bruno bucciarati able to go down despite uh, green day's ability being active and there was no mold on bruno he was able to <laughs> beat the shit out of Seco, right? Seco and Chocolata, they are so fucking sick, man. We've seen sick people in Jojo's. It's nothing new. Dio was sick, Kira. Uh, there was a bunch of sick characters, but these two are... How to describe it? They're the worst, simply put. We saw them only in two episodes, and they already bodied so many people, man. And those people in uh, Rome right now, we are heading towards the Colosseum and the people are dropping dead all the time. That's insane. Giorno and Mista are now going to try to attack him while Bruno is going to deal with Seco. You know what time is it when Boss, even Boss himself said, Oh crap, I hate relying on these fuckers but I have no choice. That's how messed up they are, man. So, speaking of Colosseum, we are supposed to meet certain someone who knows too much, man. That person from Laptop knows about uh, Boss and his real name. Apparently, he's called Diavolo and he knows about his ability and he legit taught us about the arrow and the origin of stand powers which is coming from space from meteor that's insane but it kind of makes sense bro so basically stands are something that was not uh, born on earth it came from space which is very interesting and we finally got to learn origin of stands in part 5, man. <laughs> That's insane, but I like that. You can see throughout the parts how much Araki evolves. That's pretty evident, man. Okay, guys, I'm ready for the next episode, so without further ado, let's start episode 31. Let's begin. Okay, everything is ready. Let's begin. <laughs> Oh my god, back to this again. Look at this, look at what these sick bastards are doing. They're batshit crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's Green Day, bro. I grew up watching, I mean listening to Green Day, Linkin Park and Sum 41. They're one of my favorites. Bro. Bucciarati in this condition is going to wash that guy. Green Day and Oasis Part 2. Let's go. Bro, this guy is an idiot. 
He pulled the fast one. <laughs> While fighting Bucciarati, that's probably not a good idea. <laughs> Hell yeah! Oh my god! Fuck, I reacted too fast. Okay, maybe I am underestimating him. That's a mistake always, so I shouldn't do it. What now? How is he melting him? Wasn't his power to like go to the ground? Make it soft. Wow! Ah. Nice. I always like when Bucciarati dodge attacks with the zipper. It's not gonna be easy. Yeah, not much time has passed since Journal joined. Everyone still refers him as a new guy, but in my head it's like, what the fuck, he's not new. But he is actually, still. Yeah, no shit, bro. It's because of the tree, the branches. He's in his range. Yep. It's a different story right now. Let's go, pistols. Yeah. Of course, he escaped. <laughs> I bet he's pretty weak when it comes to hand to hand combat. Yo, what the fuck happened? Yeah, he takes the damage as well. Holy fuck. That's a good point. How? Did this happen? Holy fuck. Bro, Mista is always taking so much damage. Oh my god, bro, don't do this. Don't fucking do this, bro! Okay, as long as Mr. Stand is active, it's fine. He's the last one. Yeah. Oh shit. Wow. Holy shit, Mr. Mr. is like, who cares? Just go and help him anyway. Bro! Okay, that's smart. But where is he? What is that? Some injection sin? Jesus Christ! What a dangerous fucking stand! It's a trap. There he is! Mm. What the fuck did he use? Oh my god! What the fuck am I watching right now? What is this shit? Bro, I hate this guy. But he's so disgusting. Of course. And he is a doctor after all. That's some bullshit. Look at his spine moving, bro. This is making me sick. Bro, this is insane. Oh my god, there is the mold.
Oasis, Power A, Speed A. Power and Speed A, what the fuck? I didn't know that. So this guy can probably fight. I mean, I knew that about the speed because he caught those sugar cubes and he could deflect bullets from Mista. Actually, I take that back. But power and speed A is great. Range B, durability A, precision E, growth potential C. But I don't care about this guy at the moment. Chocolata is fucking nasty. I I hate him. I literally hate him the most out of all the villains from Jojo Man. And we only saw him in like two or three episodes. This is insane. So not only that he has that crazy Green Day stand that is basically taking over the whole room right now. He can as well Cut himself up in pieces, literally, without bleeding out and dying. I guess he's using that mold to stop the bleeding and he mentioned that he knew what veins to cut and the fact that he did that, but that's not the part of his stand. That's insane. He stepped, bro. I don't really know what the fuck is wrong with that guy, but he's so disgusting and seeing him move his spine, oh, it's just so gross, man. I don't think Jono is going to lose and I hope that Mista will be okay. Let's continue. And it's only his arm. How is he overpowering him? What a nasty piece of shit he is. That's what the fuck is wrong why do I have a feeling that this is a good thing? What? It's a bullet! Oh nice, he can attach it to the heli. Nice! That was clutch actually. Come on, Jorno, come on, my boy. It's, it's falling apart. He needs to jump. Oh, what did he do? He transformed something. What did he do with that branch? Something is about to happen. Oh my god. Oh my god. To hit the propels. Oh my god. Hell yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> now it's the time for dancer. <laughs> I like this guy so much. Oh my god. Bullet to the head, that's what he deserved. Hmm, does Jorno think that he is still not... I mean, he's a doctor, maybe he finessed somehow. Damn! Maybe it somehow didn't pierce his brain. Oh, you cannot finesse my main journal. Oh. What the fuck? So many injuries. He's letting him know. But he, he looks dead as fuck, though. Yeah. 
I like how careful Journal is because this guy is a trouble. Damn, he was right, bro. He was right. The fucker is still alive. Oh my god, and he went for Mista. Look at the blood squirting from his head. Oh my god, of course Jorno has something else. Holy shit. Oh my god. Eww. Ah, he's done for, bro. He's leaking. <laughs> Here we go. Yep. He deserves all of this. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> what the fuck, Jungle? <laughs> He's still playing! <laughs> what the fuck is this, bro? <laughs> oh my god! Giorno is such a savage, bro! Burnable waste pickup! Oh, I like Araki so much for messing up Chocolata like that because he's so despicable. Holy shit, am I happy right now? What is he going to do now, where there is no chocolate anymore? And he was his patient and he is always relying on him. What is this about? What the fuck? Did he record this message while he was hiding in the heli? Nah, not gonna make me feel bad for them. No way in hell. <laughs> but damn. <laughs> Boss knew, man. Boss knew. Boss hates this too as well. Oh, this is going to motivate him. He will still think the Chocolata is alive. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> so many people died. Thanks to Green Day. Ah, oh, here we go. Did Bruno not notice him? Did he notice what's happening with his feet? Oh, the Colosseum! Wait! <laughs> no! Wait, guys! Is this my man? My favorite French Jojo! No fucking way! Guys! Look at this here! Is it? Oh my god. You're the earring. <laughs> it's my boy. It's fucking Polnareff. What the fuck? Holy shit. They brought back Polnareff. Why is he in the wheelchair though? Oh my god. <laughs> fuck yes. Bro, I am so happy. Oh my god, bro. I fucking love Polnareff. It makes sense that he knows so much. Green Day and Oasis part 3. Oh, we have a part 3 as well, which makes sense. Seko is still around. We are about to see Polnareff, bro. I feel so bad that he is in wheelchair, bro. That really caught me off guard. Poor people, man. Oh, he's gonna realize. 
少しばかり頭に負傷してしまった念のためだが言っておきたいことがある<笑> Oh my god やつらの目的地はコロセオだ今ピスタル人物はボスを倒す秘密を知っている、Damn. だからジョルノどもは会いに行こうとした役ドファイダーズヒーヘンタイムとメッセージを Because he heard Chocolata's voice. So Chocolata! What the fuck? I did not see this coming. Interesting. He even spit on that shit. Oh, this guy. He lost like a little bitch. Oh my god, just like you are about to lose. Oh, that was a nice dodge. Oh, he's gonna put it together now. Wow, that's such a creative move. Yo, but he is good. He is fucking good. Yeah, focus on him one step at a time. Nice! Yeah, but he's sinking it. He's still using that. Oh my god, nice. Fuck! He's bouncing off the ground. I mean, to be fair, everyone would be like, what the fuck is going on with him? Oh my god. Holy shit, bro. And they're still not showing us his face. Damn! What the fuck? He has a good eyesight. Oh! That was smooth. He used the zipper. <laughs> I will pop in me. But who says that leads to underground? Hmm. What is Bucerati thinking? Oh, shut the fuck up. Bucerati's stand is much better. Wow. It's like he's jumping to the pool. Oh, this is so dope. Yeah, it's his stand. Mm. Oh, what the fuck? He's literally swimming in the ground, underground. He has such a good orientation as well. Damn, they're literally chasing underground, bro. That's crazy. Oh, nice. Nice bait. He's getting way too cocky. Oh my god, that song, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. What the fuck? Oh, he made those dirt spears. Holy shit. So that's why he ate that shit, bro. What a crazy fucking ability. Bro, how does every single one of those hit? I mean, he's covering pretty large area. Yeah, it's probably a bad idea to fight him underground. Oh my god, there is the arrow! 
Wow, man. Yo, <laughs> look at those earrings. He did say that at first conversation. Yo. Yo. <laughs> Jean-Pierre Polarev, 36 year old. Damn, and what is that? It's like an eye patch, but fancy. He has a scar. Oh, is he blind on that eye? Or I don't really know. Yo, look at him, bro. In part 5 art style, my man Polnarev. He looks very, very different, man. One of my favorite Jaja characters. Holy shit. The Colosseum in Rome. Rome will exist as long as the Colosseum does. When the Colosseum falls, so will Rome. When Rome falls, so will the world. Quote from a certain medieval monk who saw the Colosseum. Interesting. Oh, and I like how they are showing... Uh, Romul and Rem and the wolf, who, uh, the the female wolf who fed uh, Romul and Rem, and they're the ones who built Rome. I like that detail. <laughs> I I still can't process that I'm watching Polnareff right now. Hell yeah. Damn, even prosthetic legs, man. What the fuck happened to my boy? Arrow's true power. Oh boy. And of course, it has to lag. I will change the player, be right back. Alright. It's good now. That's insane, it's like he's completely controlling the underground. Yeah, he's approaching him. Okay. Oh, Bucerati strikes back with the similar attack. <laughs> He's so excited. Oh shit, what is happening to Bruno? What is going on? Oh my god! His fingers are literally falling off. Nah, that's crazy, man. Bucciarati is really having a tough time. I have to admit, I did not expect Seko to be this troublesome. Oh, no, there is car there, literally. Come on, Bucciarati. And he is using that car for whatever reason. He's not even feeling the pain. Oh my god, what is he about? Oh my god! Yep! And they were talking about vibrations! Holy fuck, bro! <laughs> Oops, I guess you can't hear me anymore. Oh my god, Jojo with those lines, bro. Oh, get fucked. Yo. You can't hear a shit. Oh, 
This is it. Oh my god. He already did. Oh. <laughs> That's actually true. This isn't even a conversation. Oh, he doesn't know. That's right, he doesn't know. Bro, what kind of twist is this? He took Dupio hostage. Bro, Bucerat is in trouble. Oh my god. Look at all the shit in his bag, the phones. Oh, the green eyes. Oh. I have no clue what is about to happen, bro. What the fuck happened? He attacked right through Dopio. Mm, okay. Wow, is he in the sa same place as Chocolata? Oh my god. Dessert. Both of them are literally trash. And Bucciarati pulled what Josuke did in episode 1 of part 4. Oh no. Oh no, this is not good. Wow, is this how my man Bucerati is going out? What a convenient fucking time and place. Let's see what happens with Bruno and Boss. Stop. Oh, he's curious to find out what is Bucerati plotting. Wow, and the fact that the boss is literally talking to him right now. I mean, it's Dopia, but you get it. He wants to know what is Bucerati gonna do. Fuck. Damn, his name is Diavolo. Oh boy, Jesus! Is Bucciarati really in that bad state right now? Oh, he's gonna realize it as well. This is so painful to watch. Look at him touching the ground. He's completely blind. Jesus Christ, is that really the case? Is he deaf, deaf as well? Wait, what? Oh, is his vision going and returning? That's Mista. <laughs> what the fuck? That looked so sus. Oh shit. They will be suspicious of him for sure. Yeah, because after all... Oh my god, his fucking phone. Uh, Abakio gave us his face, right? Oh my god, bro. <laughs> and he's acting as it's something that he cannot control. Maybe Trish can sense him. Yeah, there we go. She felt him last time. Oh my god. 
Wait, what? Oh my god. Bucciarati is saying Trish instead of him. This is crazy, man. It's because they are father and daughter. They are connected, so... He sees Trish. That's pretty much true. Damn, man. The shape of your soul. Okay, that's why he wasn't able to recognize him. Yeah, this is what I was thinking. This is so sad. <laughs> He's truly acting his role as Trish right now. It's so fucking tough to watch this man. Wow. Okay, so this time... Oh no, we are still not able to see everything all the stats power and speed a range durability e and precision and grow potential question mark fucking queen king crimson so bucciarati was not able to see him because they should know how boss looks like because of uh, abakio and what he did he found out his face, so uh, that's why I was confused when Bucciarati saw that scar on his neck, but he didn't see his face. But then we got an explanation right now that Bucciarati uh, actually sees Trish, he sees the shape of his soul, and because he is related by blood to Trish, they have their souls have similar scent so it makes sense why he sees trish i'm really upset man i knew that bruno is basically already dead but it's just breaking my heart it's painful to watch him like this blind death uh, the boss is playing him right now like it's so fucking rough man let's see how this episode ends and he is leading boss to the Colosseum, bro. We have a house there. Oh my god. Holy shit. He's such a nice guy. And this will expose Polar to so much danger. Oh, he's polar for watching them. Oh my god. Hell fucking yeah. I like this. Polar F is careful. And he doesn't have the picture of this person. This is when he gets revealed. Damn, they're still trying to play a role as Trish. Nice! He's so cautious, man. He's someone very experienced. He's sweating as well, though. <laughs> what the fuck? Yep, the arrow. Oh fuck! 
He feels his aura. Oh shit! This is worse! He found them by himself. Enya! Can't believe that she's still mentioned. Wow! よー。よー。よー。よー。よー。よー。よー。よー。よー。よー。よー。よー。よー。よー。よー。よー。よー。よー。よー。よー。よー。よー。よー。よー。よー。よー。よー。よー。よー。よー。よー。よー。よー。よ
Wow! This is my gamble to keep the arrow away from the above. It looked like he stabbed his own stand with that. Oh my god, bro, really? Damn. You really did my boy dirty. And he got the fucking arrow. Wow, bro. They're really killing Polnareff. <laughs> Why do they have to show that? Fuck! Nah, this is wild, bro. Araki went fucking nuts in part 5. Oh my god, everyone is here now. What the fuck? Who the fuck is this? What the fuck am I looking at? Oh shit, is that the arrow? What the fuck happened? Alright guys, that was my reaction to episodes 31, 32 and 33 of part 5. And I can only say what the fuck man. Like I would not guess these things in a million year. First, let's move this out of the way. Chocolata and Seco got defeated. Chocolata went out in uh, one of my favorite barrage attacks from all the judges, man. It was so satisfying to see uh, Giorno beat the shit out of Chocolata and he popped out even free from Dio. <laughs> Dio's blood kicked in there. That was really cool. I like that, but what the fuck, man. First, the Doppio was in the right place at the right time. He encountered Bucciarati, who cannot see, who lost his vision, which was pretty convenient because they would be able to recognize his face, right? And because of that, thanks to Bucciarati, Boss was able to come closer to the Colosseum. And the fact that they brought back Polnareff, man, I fucking lost it when I saw him. That was so satisfying. I was so glad. And look what they did to him. They just brought him back to die. He was in wheelchair because of his encounter with Boss earlier. And it makes sense why Polnareff has all that information. He somehow managed to survive. And he had prosthetic legs. He was in wheelchair. His eye was fucked. And it was just so sad to see. And when he was dying, they showed his, they showed us the Stardust Crusaders, man. They showed us his journey. And just remembering part three and all shit that they went through, and just imagining that uh, the survivors don't have the happy ending is really unsettling for me. And I really don't like this feeling. But it is what it is. What can I do? It seems like Polnareff is bodied. He did something, it seemed like Silver Chariot tried to stab uh, itself with the arrow, but Diavolo managed to defeat Polnareff in time. And then we see this fucking, like, ominous, mysterious, weird figure walking around like a shadow or something, and it looked like it has attached arrow on the neck man what on earth is going on i have no idea what the fuck is araki preparing for us man who is that man and why does it have arrow one arrow is in boss possession right now so is this like arrow soul or I don't know, man. I really don't. And these episodes were too much, man, to process all this shit. 
So we knew that Doppio and one point boss said that he needs few minutes to take over Doppio. And this is, I guess, our first time seeing how boss actually looks. So it's not that King Crimson is like commanding Doppio. It's like literally two persons living in one body. He looks quite a different when compared to Doppio. He looks more menacing and badass and he has those green dots on his hair. His hair is different, his drip as well. He has also been super lucky throughout this part and things played out in his hands quite a bit. So now Mista, Narancha, Trish and Giorno are uh, with Bucciarati. Polnareff is taken out. Rest in peace to my man Jean-Pierre Polnareff. I did not expect, first of all, I did not expect him to be in this part and certainly not to die just a few episodes after we saw him. I'm going to end it here for today. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please consider subscribing, leave a like, comment, all that good stuff as always. Check out my Patreon page if you want to see full and early reactions. I will be seeing you very soon with another video. Until then, take care and have a nice day. See ya guys.